Welcome to another how-to video from Skymatics. Thank you guys for watching. This one is going to address the issue with the Iveo Altitude client, the pilot client that does not have the facility or the ability to use a, a joystick or a yoke button directly from a controller. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a little interface program that will sit between your simulator and your yoke as such, or your joystick, and the Iveo Altitude client for pilots. The logical place to start would obviously be to just make sure that your Iveo Altitude client is correctly installed and configured. So once it's up and running, you want to come to settings and you need to select a push to talk key. Now it's very important when you select your push to talk key that it must not be a function key. In other words, it cannot be an ABC or a one, two, three or, or a plus and a minus or anything, any button that sends a command into your computer. It has to be a non-function key. And on your keyboard, you have four of them. It's going to be your shift and your control keys. And you've got a left one and a right one of each. So there's four non-function keys in total. Right, The best one to use, in my opinion, is going to be the control key. Nothing wrong with shift, it's just me. Uh, that's my preference. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the set push to talk key. I'm going to press my right hand control key. Right, right control, and now it says push to talk is ready. So now, I remember, and I need to remember, it's the right control. We now have to go to our interface program, Joy to Key, which is this one, and we have to decide what, which button are we going to bind to the right control key on the keyboard. Okay, so it's very easy. You're going to look at your yoke or your joystick. You're going to decide this is my button, and you're going to press it. All right, so once you've clicked with your mouse and this screen is active and you press that button that you have in mind, you'll see it will highlight. So you don't have to worry to, to decide which one is which. You just press the button. It shows you button number one in my case. And then all I need to do is double click. In the first opening here at the top, I'm going to press the right control key. I'm going to click on OK. I'm just clicking here on the white side just to make sure that the program is still highlighted. Then I'm going to press my button. You see there, when I press button number one, it's going to translate that for the computer into the right control key, like that. At the moment I go to my Iveo client or I click on my flight simulator, to make the Aveo client active, the moment I press my joystick key, it actually enables the transmit. There you go. So just to recap quickly, Aveo client, you set up first, you give it a key binding. We said right control, in our case here, you can use left control or you can use left or right shift. As long as it's one of those four buttons, you should be okay. But it has to be the same button that you configure in this joy to key program to make sure that you trigger the correct binding. If you now decide, I want right control there, but you want left control here, it's going to laugh at you because that's just not logic. Okay, it's just not logical. It won't work. That's not how it's supposed to be. You have to use the same button. All right, so I hope you understand that. Once you have your binding set up, it's as easy as clicking on Iveo and checking that it works. So I'm not pressing my button on the keyboard, although I could. This is on the keyboard. You should be able to hear me click the keyboard in the background. Okay, and this is from the actual yoke. And that is it. So the prerequisite is obvious. You need this program running in the background as long as you want to use the PTT button from your yoke or joystick. The moment you close this program, you're going to lose the ability. There's no interface between your controller button 
and your altitude pilot. And then you are bound to use your keyboard to press the button. And that's how easy it is, guys. Nothing to it. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, one last thing before I go. In order for you to close joy to key you need to click on file and exit. If you click on the X, and I'm not sure if that's just a setting, could be, but if you click on the X, it just minimizes it for you. Okay, I think it's just to prevent you from accidentally closing it because if this thing is not running, there's no PTT for you. Okay, so to close it, file, exit, and there you go. That's the end of my story. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.